Hello, welcome back. In the previous videos, uh, we are uh, exploring the different kinds of uh, activity that uh, we have in Azure Data Factory. So in this video, we will uh, see what is uh, stored procedure activity in Azure Data Factory. So this is one of uh, one of the simple uh, simplest activity I would say in Azure Data Factory. So uh, we will explore this uh, in detail. And before that, if you are new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed for this channel, I would recommend you to please uh, subscribe for this channel and also please share with your uh, colleagues and friends uh, who are interested uh, in learning about data and data engineering. So let's get started. So as you can see, like uh, regarding the stored procedure activity, uh, what exact, exactly it does is it triggers a stored procedure uh, which is uh, there in your or which is created which is already created in your uh, azure sql db or uh, might be on premise uh, sql db which is a uh, which is there in, a, in any virtual machines or uh, actual uh, uh, hosted uh, on premise uh, uh, sql db and uh, the activity this activity which is used for uh, data transformation uh, because uh, obviously the stored procedure activity whenever we trigger a stored procedure there are two uh, advantage of uh, or the two uh, things that you can do with the stored procedure uh, in SQL, whether you want to create some uh, transformations or uh, just write a select statement with kind of a joins or filters and then get the data. But here, uh, the intention of uh, calling the stored procedure is uh, to uh, actually uh, kind of a, uh, do a data transformation, like any updations you are doing, uh, right, or any inserts that you want to do. Uh, so those kind of uh, updates or inserts uh, uh, which acts on the data or, the, or the, does the data transformations. Uh, using uh, the stored procedure activity so in, the, in that case uh, we'll be using the stored procedure activity in data factory and uh, please note that uh, this important point uh, so this we are uh, this no, this point is important to understand uh, because uh, in the previous video in this uh, same playlist uh, we have uh, learned about lookup activity so lookup activity is little different than stored procedure activity so in lookup look also we can uh, if you see in the previous video even in the lookup activity we can uh, still call the stored procedure but uh, the intention there was different the intention there is to get the uh, amount of i mean the uh, just to select the data uh, like from the configuration db or control db or config file or control files right so there even though if you are selecting stored procedure so we are expecting like a less than 4 mb of data or like a few uh, few like 5000 records which is a limited amount of records and this is only for lookup uh, activity when you are using uh, and you are using the stored procedure along with that lookup activity so there you are not doing any transformations so we are just uh, will be able to kind of fetch the data uh, which is given by stored procedure and that has to be sent to the subsequent tax activities but here uh, we are the intention is to actually do a data transformation and uh, we are not expecting anything returned uh, from uh, this uh, this is short process activity so it might return the true or false condition uh, whether once it is succeeded or failure but uh, the intention is to just call a stored procedure so to keep it simple right it is as good as uh, executing a stored procedure if you are familiar with sql so you, you once you create a stored procedure how do you execute is uh, you just execute this command exec and the stored procedure name so it will just uh, execute the stored procedure so it is as good as executing this uh, uh, command right so in the demo uh, we will uh, it's a simple it will be a simple demo because stored procedure activity is a simple activity uh, in data factory and uh, let us see how we can trigger a stored procedure active stored procedure using the stored procedure activity in data factory so now uh, you can see i'm in azure data factory uh, pipeline uh, pipelines and in the pipeline i can uh, search by search for stored procedure activity and i'll be getting the stored procedure activity here and uh, similarly for uh, like we have explained in the previous video so this general tab is same as the previous activities uh, like uh, what we have seen in the previous videos so i don't want to uh, again reiterate the same thing and uh, like uh, in the settings if you go right uh, you have a link service like uh, for a lookup you will give a link service one li uh, one link service is mandatory for get metadata one link service is mandatory and for copy activity two two uh, links uh, two link service or two data set is mandatory right similarly for a uh, stored procedure uh, it is expecting some kind of link services so i'm giving a link service here as you can see <coughs> the difference between uh, the lookup activity or uh, the get metadata activity or uh, for that matter uh, copy activity so there we were giving the data set because we need to define along with the connection we are not just making the connection using those activities so we are also uh, kind of defining a data structure there so that's where we needed data data sets data sets right so here uh, in the stored procedure activity like unlike uh, lookup activity so we don't select the uh, data set we directly select the link service because we don't need the data set here right so we are not uh, worried about the data format so we just intention is to just create a connection and then to call the stored procedure so now we are directly connecting to the sql db 
okay we have a sql db and in that sql db so we have a stored procedure listed so that uh, stored procedure will be listed all, all the stored procedures which are there in this uh, database will be listed here and uh, i have a stored procedure here to uh, just uh, try try for uh, execution so this is my stored procedure and uh, uh, as you can see in this uh, uh, sql db now we are in sql db and the stored procedure so this is the demo proc in the stored procedure and we are just executing update command here uh, wherever customer id equal to one i want to make the customer as data so if you see uh, come back and see this what which table we are update trying to update here the table is customer v2 and customer id is one and uh, currently the data it holds is rabi the customer name is rabi so once this stored procedure executes uh, it will uh, it has to change uh, the customer to data the customer id is equal to one so let's try to execute this uh, stored procedure now yeah, and as you can see it is succeeded and uh, in data in output uh, as you can see we don't see anything uh, any uh, information or any data for that matter right it just says uh, some metrics but uh, in lookup uh, you can see like a lot of uh, output va variables like uh, if you see in the previous video in the output also we can see uh, array which it returns right uh, and that can be used in subsequent activities so here uh, it, it just says the stored processor is succeeded so how can you validate that uh, you can just come back to this table and see whether it is updated as you can see the customer id one is updated to uh, the customer is updated to uh, from rabi to data that means that the store this stored processor has been executed so this is a, as you can see this is a simple uh, stored procedure uh, activity that we can use in data factory hope this is useful thanks for watching